Hello everyone, we will continue the topic web dying pro app app and in the previous videos, we took the requirement based upon that requirement. We started with the layout designing, then as a part of that, we created one label, we created one input field and we created one button. Now we will go for the output fields as well because Based upon the sales document number, we will display that details of three to four columns from the VBAK table. Suppose if I will go to VBAK table, we will take three to four fields. Suppose we will display the details of date, time, username, and sales document category. So what I will do? Firstly, I will design the four labels. I will design the four labels and I will go for four output fields. Suppose if I will show you the already developed demo, you can simply understand. If I will run the already developed application, if I'm running this, you will be able to understand. We will go for four labels and four output fields. Suppose if I am going for input one and I will click on to submit button, you can see this is label and this is the output value. So similarly, we will go for four labels and we will go for four output fields in which the values will display. So now we will go for this. So uh, this is our program. This is our Web10 Pro application. Now, what I will do, I will simply right click on to root UI element container. Now, firstly, I will create a label. You can see insert element is disabled because I am not in the change mode. So, firstly, I will go to change. Now, it is in change mode. I will simply right click on to root UI element container insert element. Suppose I will give the name of the label. Suppose I am saying er dat underscore label. er dat underscore lbn. I will take the type as label. I will go for OK. Now you can see by default it is coming as matrix data. Matrix data means it is in continuation of this particular line, but we want in new line. In the previous video, I covered matrix data and matrix head data. If you will go for matrix data, it will be in the continuation of that, but I want in the new line. So I will simply, simply take it as matrix head data. Now you will be able to see it is in the new line. Now I will simply give the label for, I will pass later. Firstly, I will provide that text. So simply I will give that text, suppose creation date. I will go for save. Now you can see we are able to see the text creation date. Now I will take one output field in which we will display the value of this creation date. Now I will simply right click, insert element. Suppose I will write er dat underscore out because it will be our output, yes. Now we will simply go here. Now many people ask that they are not able to see output field here. There is no type output field, only input field is there. In the module pool programming, we have input output together. We can simply disable the checkbox for input or output, but here it is not the case. But we are not going for input. We want to go for output. So whenever you want to go for output, output means we will not be able to change that. We will simply give the input and output will display. We will not change that output. So in that case, what you will do, you will simply, simply take text view, text view. Word itself is saying the 
text whatever is coming is only for the viewing purpose yes we want to just see the output of those fields so you can simply take text view many people are asking this question i am not able to see the output so how i can go for output output means you want to take it as text view it means that is output is only for the viewing purpose i will go for okay now you can see it will be our matrix data. It is okay because in the continuation of this line, in the, in the continuation of creation date, we want the value. So this will be our matrix data. If we want in the new line, then we will simply take it as matrix hat data. Now you can easily understand what is the significance of matrix data and matrix hat data. Now, this label, now we will pass the value of this label for. This is the label for er dat underscore out. Now I will go for save. So our first is ready. Creation date. Now we will go for second. I will simply right click insert element. Now I will go for second is time. So I will write E R Z D D underscore L B L. This is our label. Yes, it must be matrix head data because we want in the new line. Matrix data is there. That's why it is in continuation of this. But we want it as matrix head data. Now you will be able to see it is in the new line. I will give the text. What will be the text? Text I will give time. Now I will create a output field. I will simply right click insert element. I will write ERZDT underscore out. There is no output field. We ought to take it as text view because we want only for the viewing purpose. Okay. Now we will bind this label and this output field or you can say text view. So this label is for this particular text view. ERZDT underscore out. Now I will simply save. So our two are ready. Now we will go for third one. I will simply right click insert element and our third name is E, our third label is ERNUM. ERNUM underscore LBL. This is our label. Yes, this is matrix data, but I want to go for the beginning of the new line. I want in the new line, start of the new line. So I will simply take it as matrix head data. I will give the label. Suppose I will simply give the label as the user name or we can simply give name. Now I will take a text view or you can say it is our output. Insert element. Or I will write simply ERNUM underscore LBL. Now, sorry, it ERNUM underscore out, not LBL. This is our text view. I will go for OK. Yes, it will be our matrix data because in front of name itself, we want to display the value. Now I will make bind this label with this text view. So this is the label for ERNUM underscore out. I will say. So our three are ready. Now I will simply right click and insert again new element. And what is our fourth one? Document category. So I will write VB type underscore LBL. This is our label. Go for, I will go for OK. Now it must be our matrix head data because we want in the new line, start of the new line. I will provide the text. Text will be our document category. 
Now I will simply, simply create a text view or you can say it is our output. Now I will write VB type underscore out. This is our text view. I will go for OK. Now you can see, now this must be our metrics data. Yes, correct. Because we want in front of document category. Now we will bind this. This VB type underscore label is for VB type underscore. And I will go for save. So we created four label and four text view because there's no, there's nothing like output. We take it as a text view. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we continued the layout creation. And as a part of that, we created the four labels and the four text view because there's nothing like output. So you need to create a a text view and word itself is saying the text which is for viewing purpose. So as a part of that, we created the four text view. It is important to understand matrix data and matrix head data. Whenever you want at the start of the new line, take it as matrix head data. If you want in continuation of that line, just simply take it as matrix data. Now, in the next video, we need to create fields or you can say we need to create attributes because this is our value input. This is our output. So we need to take fields. We need to take attributes. That part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.